Hey everybody, it's Dietrich Truxes, the cheese doctor. If you're a cheese lover like me and are into keto diet, then you are in the right place. As you may know, because you are a keto fanatic, keto diet, or better technically talking, the ketogenic diet is a high fat, adequate protein and low carbohydrate diet that in medicine is used to treat severe cases of epilepsy in children. The ketogenic diet forces the body to burn fat instead of carbohydrate using the body's lipid reserve. Nowadays, this diet is trendy for all people who want a healthier life. Fat converts sugars and sugars increase the risk of certain types of cancer. Burning fat also helps the body to fight against diabetes. However, there are pros and cons when we do keto. Let's go first with the pros. The pros of the keto diet are epilepsy control, weight loss, reduction of type 2 diabetes, risk reduction of cancers among other factors. The possible cons are possible nutrient deficiencies, therefore keto should be accompanied by a vitamin complement program. Another disadvantage of the keto diet is what is called keto flu. Keto flu is a transition process where you might experience hunger, maybe headaches, nausea, fatigue, and irritability. As a suggestion before trying to stick into keto, it is advisable to consult with a dietitian because what may work for others may not work for you. So, after consulting your dietitian and assuring that all is good to start your keto diet, then the first thing you have to avoid is sugar. Based on that, cheese is an excellent alternative for keto diet. Why? Because the cheese has fat. On the other side, cheese are made with many types of milk. So, which one should you choose? As a general rule, the best cheeses to eat, either for keto dieters or for anyone who wants to eat cheese, are cheeses made with goat milk. And I'm speaking as a cheese maker, giving you the technical reasons for a cheese making perspective combined with what ketogenic process is all about. As I was saying, the main reason that goat milk is better is that goat milk is more comfortable to digest. Therefore, the production of energy inside the body is faster than other cheeses. The sad news is that goat cheese has a piquant flavor and not many people can stand it. In my case, I don't like it that much because it's too stiff for me. Only if you are allergic to lactose, cheeses made with cow and sheep milk is a good alternative for keto dieters. However, try to buy cheeses made with milk where the animals have been fed only with grass to minimize the possibility of hormones into the milk. As you can see, not all is happiness when choosing the right cheeses. A lot of fat and no carb is the rule, and sometimes finding the correct type of cheese in your diet can be way complicated. Maybe because you have no time to investigate the type of cheeses that keto allows, or perhaps you don't have time to find out either because you're so busy at work that simply you don't have the time, or maybe you're lazy like me and you don't want to do it because you prefer someone to do the homework for you, like this video. <laughs> well, don't worry because I already did the homework for you, and today I'm going to share with you the top 10 kind of cheeses to eat with your keto diet. In this way, you will be complying with your keto program and enjoying the love for cheese. So keto is very trendy these days because it helps to lose weight as well as reduce the risk of several types of cancer. However, for keto, some fats products are right and some are bad. So, which products are correct and which ones are bad? Rule of thumb, fat products with sugars are forbidden. Therefore, cheeses are a perfect alternative in the keto diet. Among soft cheeses, the first cheese I recommend is... Ta -da -da -da. Number one, Cream cheese. Green cheese is an excellent option because it only adds fats to your diet. One tablespoon of cream cheese only has 51 calories and adds 0 0.0 grams of carbs, 1 gram of protein and 5 grams of fat which is a lot and a great alternative as a snack or as a part of your meal. 
To choose a brand, go to the supermarket and make sure to read the nutrition facts of the container. Remember, low carb and no sugar. This is the rule of thumb. Number two, cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is an excellent option as long as it doesn't have carbs or sugar. On average, cottage only has 3.5 grams of carbohydrates per 100 grams of cheese, 18 grams of protein, and lots of fat, making it suitable for your ketogenic lifestyle. Now, among all the brands that we have in the supermarket, what brand should you choose? I personally would suggest selecting the full fat and plain cottage cheese. Number three, butter. Butter is a trendy alternative in your ketogenic diet. It doesn't have carbs and has only 80% fat. Long ago, butter was considered dangerous to health, but recent researches show that there is only a small relationship between eating butter and the risk of having a stroke. Butter is a source of butyrate, which is a short-chain fat that plays an important role in promoting brain health. The best butter to eat is the organic one, because the cows are fed only with grass. However, this alternative is a bit expensive, but in summary, make sure the brand that you choose in the supermarket is of high quality. Number four, heavy cream. Heavy cream has a lot of fat and a low amount of carbs, much more than whole milk, and when heated, it can stand higher temperatures without curdling. Heavy cream is an excellent alternative to use in topping. It can be whipped and also can be combined with spices, making it great for keto dieters. One tablespoon of heavy cream only adds 0.4 grams of carbs, 0.4 grams of protein, and 5.4 grams of fat, which is a lot. Now, to know what type of heavy cream should you choose, just go to the sugar-free option. Remember, rule number one in keto dieters, no sugar and low or no carbs. Number five, sour cream. Sour cream is a dairy product and is made fermenting milk or heavy cream. Milk and cream has lactose, and the lactic bacteria into the milk or cream feeds from lactose producing lactic acid and giving this acidic and pleasant flavor. Sour cream is high in fat content and low in carbs, and therefore another excellent option for keto. So before putting the sour cream into your trolley, it is essential to read the label of the brand. Choose the brand with the higher fat content because as the fat content decreases, the carbs increases. Therefore, you have to be very careful. Number six, buttermilk cream nata. Buttermilk cream is a fermented cream made in South America, Venezuela, my country, and it's an excellent option for keto. It has a lot of fat and low level of carbs. Nata is a stage before making butter. If you are in New Zealand and want to buy nata, just comment below and I will tell you where to buy it. However, it is very straightforward to make it. Just pour 500 ml of pasteurized cream into a jar with 125 grams of plain Greek yogurt. Mix it, let it set for three days, and after three days, you will see the cream curl. Put the lid, shake it for five minutes, and voila! Not for the island. <laughs> Number seven, ghee. Ghee is an Indian food and is legendary. It is similar to butter, but in ghee, all the milk solids were removed, cooked, and gave it a smoky and nutty flavor. It is a protein-free, and its level of carb is close to zero. It has approximately 13 grams of fat and only traces amount of carbs and proteins. If you want to learn how to make ghee, only make the comment here below and we'll sort it out. Number eight, halloumi. Halloumi is a yummy semi-soft cheese from Cyprus and one oz of cheese contains approximately 110 calories and zero carbs. A yum alternative for keto is halloumi fries, the Indian style. These fries are squeaky with a firm texture. The most highlight characteristic of halloumi cheese is that it doesn't melt. So you can also cook it on the barbecue combined with avocado and saganaki style or combined with marinara sauce. If you can find halloumi in your area, one option is to make it yourself. So there is a video on my channel that teaches you how to combine and prepare halloumi at home. Number nine, feta. Feta is a Greek style cheese worldwide made. It is made with goat milk, but it also can be made with cow's milk. 
Feta has a close body and a crumbly texture, and it is marinated in brine and olive oil. And it is also found in blocks of 150 to 100 grams. In one serving of feta, adds only 1.5 grams of carb, 4 grams of protein, and 6 grams of fat, which is a lot. The percentage of salt in feta is approximately 3 and 5 percent, which is good because salt gives you minerals. And what is the most important mineral in salt? Sodium, yeah. So don't miss this cheese in your keto diet. You can eat feta combined with burgers, without bread, of course. You also can eat Greek-style feta in salad, and you even can eat it as a snack, plain, just alone. Number 10, Parmesan. Parmesan is my favorite. It's the king of cheeses. And it's a hard cheese made with unpasteurized milk with a nutty, fruity flavor. Parmesan is made with skim milk and is carb-free. Traditionally, Parmesan is eaten with pasta. However, grinding Parmesan cheese or Parmesan-style cheese over eggplants, capsicum, or even eaten plain is an excellent alternative for keto. Parmesan has zero lactose because it has been aged for 18 months minimum and all the lactose has gone. Typically in fresh cheeses, this level of lactose is around 5%. As a cheesemaker, let me tell you that many other kind of cheeses can be eaten in your keto diet. These cheeses are all blue cheeses like blue veins, roquefort, cheddar is another alternative, the yummy burrata, by the way, burrata is a very delicate set of mozzarella stuffed with stracciatella cheese. Stracciatella cheese is made of mozzarella fibers combined with cream and a little bit of flavor that can be included by adding gorgonzola. <sighs> I love burrata. <laughs> I will explain these cheeses in another video. Just stay tuned and see you around. Sayonara. Hi there, I hope you have liked my video. And if you are interested in learning more about making cheese or what meals you can combine it with, make sure to check out the first link in the description below. If you also want to learn how to make one of the cheeses I just explained in the video, please let us know by making a comment. I also invite you to visit my online store, drquesero.com. You will find over there cheese kits, accessories, cultures, mouth, and all the equipment you will need to start making your own cheese at home. You also can subscribe and turn on the notifications so you won't miss more videos helping you to know more about cheese and much more. Also check out my playlist of my top 10 videos dedicated to cheese lovers like you and me. <laughs> As a keto dieter, you like things healthy. Well, making cheese is two things. First, it'll be healthy because you're making it yourself. And secondly, and the most important, making cheese is a lot of fun, let me tell you. When you make your first cheese, you will love to make more, I tell you. <laughs> And one last thing, eat cheese, because life without cheese is like love without kiss. <laughs> Take care and see you in the next video.